I think when I made Spider, it just it it came out at a time when people started, you know watching a lot of stuff on YouTube and initially some kid from Italy put it up on YouTube and and people were telling me I should take it down you shouldn't have your short film on there and and I just thought I just wanted to leave it on there and see what happened and it suddenly had some life of its own and oh, yeah. get, get this as well thanks at some point I decided you know for me and my friends who are Blue Tongue Films to have our own YouTube channel. We start putting all our shorts that, that we'd made earlier and we put them on there and, and new things that we make, we keep, we put them on there and people all around the world get to see them beyond, like, you know, we always enter film festivals and but it's quite a limited audience as a short filmmaker, like the film festival circuit. But the YouTube now, especially as the quality has gotten better and better, uh, I feel like it's such a great way for people to access your work. Is this your dog? Yeah, mate. I'm just across the river. The Square is a thriller, film noir. It's about a guy having an affair with a younger woman and how the choices he makes uh, in trying to run away with her lead to his demise. It's like a how not to guide to have an affair. I have a very dark sense of humor. Uh, so does my brother. When we first got a Sony Betamax player when I was a kid, um, the first film we hired was American Wealth in London. You know, and then my mom was always getting stuff like Death Wish and you know all these revenge movies and um, all these films that probably a ten-year-old shouldn't be watching. But the films I was watching that made me think I want to make movies uh, at the time were you know Reservoir Dogs and. You know, that Spike Jones music video for Beastie Boys Sabotage, you know? I remember that was the day I went, ah, oh, I want to make stuff, you know? It was all around that time when I started sort of making films, you know? That was the first short I made by myself. I'd made one other before that called Loaded that um, my friend Kieran and I co-directed. Kieran plays Barney in The Square. Joel was in that and, and my friend Tony was also in that and Tony, he plays Santa Claus and he was the stunt coordinator in the square. Like they, they, we have a collective uh, you know, called Blue Tongue Films and a lot of our, our shorts are online and stuff we've done and all the guys there, there's you know, six of us, myself and my brother and uh, David Michaud and Spencer Susser, Luke Doolin and Kieran Darcy Smith. And, the, the six of us all you know, give each other feedback on films. Each one you know, does other things besides being a director. You know, um, so people will do different things on each other's films. You know, like someone, you know, Luke has edited a lot of our stuff, or I have, and you know, Spencer's an editor as well. And then David and Joel and Kieran are, are strong writers, I think. And Joel and Kieran are both actors. And, so everyone kind of does a bit of everything on each other's films. All the best shorts I've seen are really simple. They're simple ideas and they're just executed well. And um, You know, you haven't got a lot of time in a short to develop character. And um, I think a lot of time people try and make them too complicated, you know. And I always try to make them really simple and, you know, choose characters that you get a sense of who these characters are quite quickly without too much complication. <laughs> Calm down. It's fake. It's a tie. Look, look. You know, I try to make my shorts feel like little movies. They have a beginning, middle, and an end. And, um, and I, in some stories are just meant to be short. And as long as you're aware of that, and you know, you're not trying to tell a feature story in a short or same the other way around. Like some shorts, some stories are meant to stay short. Like I feel like sometimes people try and turn a short film into a a full-length story and you can feel it when you see it in the same way that when you see a film that was originally a play you can tell it was kind of a play and not meant to be a film. But at some point you know while making shorts I wanted to make a feature film and I wasn't sure whether I could do it I wasn't sure whether I'd want to keep doing it after I did it and at some point I was like really clear that at some point I wanted to make a feature film. I wanted to see if I could do it and now that I have I really feel like I want to do more of it.
Uh, I think every one of them I've made like is some kind of learning process. Um, you know, shorts are difficult. You know, in some ways more difficult than making a bigger film in that uh, you know, you have such a limited time, and you know maybe you're shooting in one or two days, and you you don't really get to know the crew and work together in a way that has any longevity. You just you're all kind of thrown in together, and it's, it's like the hardest part of the shoot of the square was the first three days where everyone's trying to get to know each other and you're trying to find that cohesion and rhythm and um, you know how you're going to work together and then you kind of get on a roll and find each other's strengths and weaknesses. The shorts are always the, the mayhem part. <laughs> Let me talk you through it first. We don't talk about this or that out loud or to anybody else. Right, whatever happens here stays with us, you understand? Right, second, once it's done, you wipe it away. It never happened, we never met. Well, I'm writing another film with my brother and I want to make that. I want to, you know, I got another short that I want to make and um, I still do stunt work and, you know, I like doing a bit of everything. But yeah, I definitely want to make more feature films. That's a good drawing. It's pretty good. I feel like my friends, no matter how long my career goes, will always be really honest about, you know, whether they think an idea is good or bad or, you know, I think as you become more well-known or successful in any field that you go into, like, there's less chance of getting that from new people. But your friends will, you know, who were there from the beginning uh, will be honest, you know. What have we done? Hi, my name's Nash Edgerton and you're watching Real Black.